changing several times. Started off for the TCE cars uh, in quite bright conditions uh, when they went out in the early pace set by the Colin White uh, machine, but the, that's the Ginetta, of course. But it was soon the touring cars that started to challenge around there. Not everybody having a good run, though. The 121 Volkswagen with issues. But try as they might, those TCR cars could not match Colin White's uh, Ginetta pace. No, and we always said it was going to be a close fight between an SP3, Paul Sitter potentially, and the TCR brigade. Uh, sadly, that is the only SP3 car that seems to be able to take the fight to the TCR entry, and it'll be interesting to see whether they can sustain that over a stint and over the full race distance. But Colin White's car sadly going up in a massive uh, cloud of smoke in Barcelona. Um, hopefully some of that Ginetta was retrievable, but it's a brand new car this weekend in 378. On to the GT Series we went, a 45-minute session once again, and some fabulous machines involved with this, including the number 11 Scuderia Praha with Bohemia Energy Ferrari 488. The Bumblebee liveried uh, Lamborghini Evo taking pole position in SPX. It was a great run as well from the 88 car collection motorsports. Audi R8 of Rick Brokers and Dimitri Parhofer, together with Christopher Haaser, who did much of the session. And Frederick Verviche represents the fourth driver in that uh, combination of Pro, Semi Pro, and AM drivers. As you say, though, it took uh, uh, some trying from Mirko Bortolotti because he had a great stack of Audis to get ahead of, plus all the Mercedes, of course. Yeah, and don't forget, we had a number of people with. Uh laps that were disallowed for track limits as well. But it is Grasser Racing and Merkel Portlotti back-to-back pole positions for the Hankook 24 hours here in Dubai.